Hello. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to get this Corona 2.4 gig conversion module. This one specifically for the JR here. Converted to use with this JR Pro Pro X378 radio. Now this radio is not made to accept the module because this module I've got is a standalone module that you're supposed to just plug out the 35 megahertz, plug in the 2.4 gigahertz. Now this 378 radio doesn't come with a modular setup on the 35 meg, so we have to convert it inside. Now there are ways that you can take other 35 meg board and put the modules uh, board in, and then you've got a 2.4 gig board. But we want to do something different. We're going to make the radio work on 2.4 and 35 megahertz. Now just to show you, I've already taken off the screws, the battery cover and the battery. Unplug the battery lead so I can take the back cover off. And basically what we have is, this is the 35 megahertz board. That is what we're going to take off in a normal case. In this case, we're going to leave that board in. We're going to build the wire on us to connect the 35 meg board and the 2.4 gig board through a switch. And then we can have a system that is switchable between 2.4 and 35 meg. I have some models that are still on, two, uh, on 35 meg. I want to start using 2.4 gig, but I do not want to take two radios to the field. Okay, now let's get a bit closer. This is the module. I've taken the screws off so I can open this. The reason is I need to make sure which connector is which connector onto this layout here so that we know what to connect to the JR radio. Now inside here is just a module like this. This is the uh, binding switch. This is the LED indicating status. And this is the connector to which the module needs to connect. Now I've done some research and basically what happens, the first pin here if you look at the uh, layout now, the first pin there is the PPM signal. Skip one, then that middle one of the five pins is the positive pin, and the one next to it is the negative pin, and then there's a no connect at the end as well. Okay, on the JR radio, what I've done here, there's already a harness here which is not normally in there. This is the connector that comes from the radio that plugs into the 35 meg module. Now this connector normally has a black wire, this black wire over here. That wire also goes into this plug going into the 35 meg board. I will now take this cable that comes from the controller module. That needs to go to a switch first, but we need to know which wire is which wire coming from the controller. Now what you'll see here on this specific radio from from this side, I've got a grey wire and two white wires. Basically, the layout is standard as per normal JR convention. It's signal, positive, negative. Okay? So we have signal, positive, negative. Okay, so having now figured out signal, positive, negative, we need to take that through a wiring harness to a switch. So what I've done here, I've got some of the same connectors from electronic store. So with a socket here, which is similar to the one on the board, this one here to the board, I wire that one in, and then the signal and the positive will go all the way through to a dual pole switch. Now this dual pole switch basically takes the signal and the positive through the switch, and then the switch basically just gives you a switchable area to the one side, it will switch to the 35 meg module and to the other side to the 2.4 gig module. So if I switch it to this side, here I've got a connector that is wired in the same sequence that what the 2.4 gig module wants. Signal, skip one, positive, negative, and the fifth pin I just didn't even use that one. So with the switch in this position, I now switch the signal and the positive to that connector. With the switch in the other position, the signal and the positive will go back to a new plug that I inserted, and this new plug will just plug into the 35 meg module. With that plug into the 35 meg module, this one connected to the JR controller, and this side connected to the 2.4 gig, I have a 35 meg and 2.4 gig switchable radio unit. Okay, now I'm going to make a hole in the 2.4 gig module for the switch, because I can actually build the switch into the 2.4 gig module. Okay, 
So I finished the holes. Um, I expanded this one hole in the 2.4 gig module to let the wire slide into the side. I've made a hole here where the switch can go in. I must still put some glue in and stick that with epoxy down. Then I've also taken the back cover of the JR378 and I made a hole there to get the connectors through so that this module can sit at the back. The wire will slip through the side and into the main controller unit. Okay, now we have the conversion complete. The module is attached to the back of the radio with Velcro. The cable that's coming out there is running in to the radio and it's running into the controller unit here. There is a switch that switches it from a 35 meg transmitter to a 2.4 gig transmitter. Okay, now to demonstrate the unit, I'm going to switch the radio to 35 meg and I switch it on. Here I've got a half of a T-Rex 450 setup. I've got a R700 receiver on 35 meg. Put the uh, battery pack on and I'll switch on the, the speed controller. Okay, it's initialized on my um, chopper. There you can hear the servers going on collective and ailerons. And this is the motor. Okay, so that is the setup on 35 meg. Working, all done. Plug out. And plug out the battery pack here. I switch off the radio and I switch it to 2.4 gig. Now, on this setup here, I have a Corona CR4D receiver, a 4 channel receiver. Simple servo and a motor line here on a plane that we're busy with. I plug in the power. This is the setup sequence for the 2.4 gig. The uh, receiver is not initialized yet, so when I switch on the radio, the receiver is trying to sync, and there it is, the receiver is synced, and the speed controller is initialized. My servos responding properly. I can even show with the motor part. There's the motor, and there goes the motor. So there it is, a 2.4 gig receiver, a 35 meg receiver, a switch on the radio and I can fly any one of the planes. That's it. Bye.